Welcome to another Alice tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate the use of while loops as well as some random random number generation to develop a cat and mouse game. So we can see I've already set up the world. I've got a cat and I've got a mouse facing away from the cat. A little bit of scenery as well. And the object is the cat is going to attempt to catch up with the mouse. And if it does, well, it might end up with a tasty meal. So I've actually already developed a few of these methods for the game. So I've got a method for the cat chasing the mouse. So that will initially turn to face the mouse and then move forward directly towards the mouse. I've got a method for the cat eating the mouse. In this case I'm just going to get the cat to say I'm going to eat your little mousey. Of course you could make it far more interesting and I'll leave that as an exercise for you. And I want to develop a method here for the mouse to run away. Now what I'm going to get it to do is the mouse is going to continually change direction. So it's going to change direction in a 45 degree arc uh, either to the left or 45 degrees to the right. So effectively I'm talking about a quarter of a, a revolution in either direction. So to do that I want to get the mouse. First, we want to create a variable. Create a new variable. I'll call this rotation, which is going to be a number. And I need the world objects. Drag the rotation variable down here. Set it to a default value first. And then with the functions, I'm going to set that to a random number. And I'm going to have a random. The minimum is going to be minus 0.25 and the maximum is going to be positive 0.25 okay so that's the range or the arc of movement that we're interested in and in this case it doesn't need to be an integer so having set that I'm then going to put in a do together command I'm going to get the mouse to move forward by one meter and at the same time I'm going to get it to turn to the left I'll just put in quarter of a revolution for now but what I actually want to do is put it as a rotation now notice here that we've got it between minus 0.25 and 0.25 that effectively means that it'll either turn to the left or turn to the right alright so now back to my main method here so I want a loop. So I want to have these things continue chasing until the cat gets within a certain threshold of the mouse. So I'll use a while loop, set that to true, and go back to my cat, get a function. So while the distance to, and I'm going to need it greater than here, so I need to go back to the world. Let's just put in some default values for now. So, back to my cat, back to the function. So, while the cat's distance to the mouse, the entire mouse, is greater than, I want to set that to one, one and a half meters. While that's the case, I want it to. the mouse and we're going to do a do together chase the mouse and the mouse is going to run away so let's see what happens there let's speed it up a little bit and restart and we see eventually the mouse catches up, or the, the cat catches up with the mouse. So when that does occur, we want to call the method back to cat here, call the method eat mouse. Again, let's replay that, speed it up a bit. There we are, eventually catches up. Now, 
make it a little bit more interesting or we'll add a little bit of randomness in which the the mouse actually has an opportunity to sort of turn the turn the tables a bit and actually eat the mat, eat the cat. So to do that, we're going to introduce an if statement. We're going to put that cat eats mouse into the the true or the then case, and we're going to put that one into there. So the final thing is, how do we actually make that? So it's a bit of randomness involved. So at the moment, it'll always, because this is true here, it'll always go into the cat eat mouse. So back to our world functions. And we're going to use this function here. So with a random probability of 0.6 or 60% of the time, we're going to call the first, first method here. Otherwise, so the other 40% of the time, we're going to call this method here. So in other words, the mouse has a 40% chance of, of winning the battle. So let's replay that, speed it up again. And let's try it again once or twice. And there you go, we see the cat this time was not the lucky one. Okay, and that pretty well wraps up this tutorial.